Hey, hello, 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 hello from my bathroom. So I decided, I know I'm coming on pretty spur of the moment here. Um, they're doing some construction above me. So there's been this horrible rattling. They're actually ripping out their bathroom and gutting it, which is kind of what we're going to have to do in here pretty soon too. So there's been this horrible, besides sound, the dust has been coming down. So I have been a little, see, look at all my bag of tricks behind me. Do you see? I mean, I collect a lot of beauty products. So I've been kind of in a dusting the beauty products mode today. And I was thinking this would be a really good time to come in and give you a couple of little tips about beauty, right? About what I do when I want to go do a live broadcast or when I want to do photos or when I kind of feel like I want to look good. And I was having lunch with a friend of mine the other day and she's complaining about those little lines you get like over here, you know, those little, I'm gonna take my glasses off so you can get the reflection, those little smiley lines you get here and asking me how to get rid of it. Now, I've got like a gazillion kinds of skincare and anti-retinols and even, I mean, I have everything from super expensive things like in Orlando to a my my go-to which i love for years nobody believes me on this stuff but it's avon clinical i've been using it since i was on the campaign with it and it's 32 dollars, and it really plumps your space up but also some um this kind of stuff which is a a little peel you could put around your lips there and there's just all sorts of stuff um, that I use. Embryos, which is amazing. That also just puffs up your skin a little bit. And I'm kind of really digging this nourishing oil from a company who it's been totally worn out. But um, you, I think I have another thing from them here. I'll give you the name because it's that's a really good product. So anyway, by taking good care of your skin, you obviously will be starting with a better base. And there's there's no lying, no denying that you know we all need to be able to just you know look better, especially if you're on camera or you're doing headshots or you're doing video or as I said earlier, if you just want to go out and just really feel good. But occasionally, you know, besides the little lines, we went a little more in our lips. We don't want to have big trout pout and we don't want to get injections and we don't want to look weird and creepy, but we just want to have a little extra lip. And you can do that very easily with lipstick, but what happens when you do it with lipstick and you can do a little liner or maybe a contour above and a little kind of highlighter in the middle and then different kinds of lipstick to make your lip look like it's coming out more. It's great, but it's a lot of makeup, right? It's a lot of lipstick, and I'm not a very heavy lipstick girl. I believe in just a little bit of color to brighten it up, but something that looks a little bit more natural. So what I use, which I think is just fantastic when I want a little extra plump, is I use lip plumpers, right? So there's a few of them. There's one which I love. I was gonna Oh, they discontinued it, right? So I, they discontinued it. I have loved it so much. I used it for years. I even went on eBay to find it. I couldn't find it. You had to get it from a doctor or as a beauty editor you can get. I was able to get it. And it stopped. So I've been looking for different solutions. I found this one called Ronde Lips, which I got over at the Ricky's across the street from me, which I don't know if you guys live in New York. Ricky's is a really good, cheapo beauty place. They have almost everything and you just put it on and it gives it's almost at the end gives a little pump. The other thing that works really well is this from um, it's called Chamber Mode and it's from Lip Voltage. I met these guys at the makeup show. It's out of the UK and you can get it from lip lipvoltage.com. You pump it up. Not too much. You get a little more pout. And they have something else, Lip Voltage, which is super duper. It's the extra plumper. What do you call this one? I need it. The powerhouse, right? It's called the powerhouse. So the powerhouse, you take it out. And I'm going to give it a minute to give a little, and you'll see that. And while that's giving a little extra plump, I'm going to tell you a couple of other things. Um, this, which is kind of cool, there's a kind of a Asian, mostly Korean beauty 
place near me and they have, you know, Asian beauty products are really great. Korean beauty is a huge trend. This is something, it's called Berry Delicious. It's a, um, can you see it? It's a little bit like granule, like almost like a sugar. And it has a little bit of cinnamon in it because what gives you the extra pep, the little pop, is either something like a cinnamon. And I heard somebody say this on, was on, was on some TV show for Halloween. It was like totally cray cray. She was saying, you know, when you're on TV and they're doing these beauty segments and they're really looking for something insane to keep talking about, that if you take those like hot tamales or those cinnamon candies and you grind them up and you put some kind of pasty thing in them, you could put them on your lips and your lips will get fatter, you know, and fuller. And I'm like, oh, and your teeth will rot in the process too, right? So, but it's like, any kind of cinnamony thing will make your lip pop more, but these kind of products have some more stuff inside of it that gives it the extra oomph. Now, as you can see, I'm getting a little fuller, right? Now, here's another little trick, and this also I got at Ricky's. It's the company called NYX. They have them all over. They even have them, and I think it's CVS, Dwayne Reed. They have a huge store in New York on Union Square. They sell them in Ricky's. It's kind of professional makeup, but really inexpensive. And they have some great products. Some of them are not my favorites, and some of them are really good quality. But they have something called, um, I need my eyeglasses for this one. <laughs> they have something called, uh, Pump It Up Limp Plumper. It's a lip gloss. I'm going to gloss my eyes. And it's a, just a simple lip gloss. And it has a little bit of the plumping action in it. So you can get some color. And get a fuller lip. Now, I think you start seeing it now, right? You can see that my lips are getting a little bit fuller than before and it's really that simple right it's two seconds so when you use these things on a kind of regular basis you'll see a little bit of plumper remain but it's pretty much you know for the day it's not a or for the few hours it's not a big switch change in what you're doing but it's certainly enough to give you a little bit more ba ba boom so that when you do put lipstick on you have a fuller lip, right? And I'm not wearing much makeup. I'm wearing kind of my everyday makeup right now. You know it actually works too. Let me let me go in my little my little drawer. I should have it behind me. I wasn't planning on doing this now, but I will. Is a little bit of contour. So the neck defined. That's simple. And then um, I kind of like, I need to buy more. My NARS Orgasm, that's the name of the blush. Hard to see. Or I use my favorite, is that this it? yeah, my Orlane cream blush. I think I did this in that self tan video that I did for you guys. And that's it, you know, so it's like totally everyday makeup, zhuzh up my hair a little bit, natural, simple, it's not any different, I'm not wearing crazy makeup, I don't have two tons of lipstick on, I don't look like I just was like a, you know, I see so many people do this heavy duty lipstick and they end up looking like truck stop tranny, trannies, I don't want to look like a drag queen, I don't want to look like somebody who just raided the Mary Kay farm, you know, I want to look real and natural, but sometimes you just want to have a little extra fullness that'll sort of soften the lines around your face and also just look better on videos or on, on camera, and um, I hope that helps, I don't know if anybody's on live now because I came on, so hi Kathy, how are you? So if any of you are on live and you have a couple of questions for me, just shoot away right now. And don't forget to share this, too. If you're coming in on the replay, just totally share it and let me know what else you want. If you want any more videos from me in my bathroom, look how much, how much my husband calls it crap. Do you see? Like, I have... A lot of stuff, right? I collect a lot of beauty products, and that's just skincare and hair. So, you know, if you want to have any other stuff from all my years of, when I set my column on the Newswire, I was never allowed to mention one product because newspapers would think that I was in cahoots with them. So I would always have to give you 
like 10 alternatives and only a few would usually make it, right? So there would be have to be a really ample amount of alternatives. So I couldn't say like use this, it would have to be use this, use that, use that. And I got used to really being in that kind of collection mode of making sure that it's the best, the best product to, to, to use or to share. And, and for different times, you know, when it comes to your face, like I was getting a little lackadaisical in my makeup and I was, you know, forgetting about my, my skincare. And I'm like, I'm really needing like, I don't know, like Botox or something. And I'm like, nah, I'm going to just do a little bit more for a while. I'm going to, going to ride this year out of seeing how long I can go without it. And I started using more of my creams and my things and also something like a, you know, a, as simple as a, a derma roller, which is right here. And it fell apart. Yeah. I don't want to use this. Here it is. Sorry. I'm doing, it's kind of like an unboxing video, right? Like something like this, which is a derma roller. And you put it on. And you just, I don't want to use it when you have makeup because it, what it does is kind of kind of pricks your skin a little bit to make the collagen group come faster. And it, it helps also whatever makeup you're putting on to go into your, your skin faster. And it does really, really work. And I was using that and some more of the oils and the other, you know, skin stuff that I was showing you earlier. And my skin is starting to look, look better and even a, a couple of masks. So... If you want me to share more stuff of what I really do, either in everyday life, when I go out at night, or when I'm, I know I'm going to be doing a live or a video or a photo, just, you know, let me know in the comments below and I'll find some things. Or just if you're a little shy about it, you can PM me and I'll help you on that because especially if you're a business person and you are the face of your brand and you're spending all this money in your business and your marketing and everything. And then you're doing this Facebook live and you just look just exhausted and drowned out and, and not relevant and not up to date. You realize that how you look, how you prep your skin should be part of your everyday life. But it's also so important if you are someone who is online as part of their business. And as we get older and we're aging, you know, you want to stay relevant. You don't want to age out. So you want to make sure that you don't look weird and creepy. But I just got one of those little those things from stuck on my lips. You don't want to look weird and creepy and done and fake and, you know, you want to look like you to feel good, to feel confident. And sometimes, you know, you need a couple of, you know, beauty tips and tricks here and there. Because what I find is a lot of people just, they don't know. They've never done it before. Or they've gone so long without doing it. And then they went to someone who's maybe not the most talented makeup artist who seems to think that they should have this very heavy duty showy makeup. And if you're working with someone who is a makeup artist, of course you need more when you're on camera. I'm not wearing any extra makeup than I would normally if I'm, I'm working from home today. So you can see I'm looking a little pale and more natural than maybe if I really got done up. But a really good makeup artist, you shouldn't see their work on your face. I mean, if you're wearing a vivid lip, maybe someone will say, oh, I love your lipstick. But someone shouldn't really be saying, I love your lipstick, I love your blush. Oh my God, it's like you should look beautiful. Your makeup should be coming into the room before you are you should be making the best first impression and looking natural and if you're doing it through proper skincare if you're having a little tips and tricks to maybe contour your face a little more or puff up your lips a little more or narrow your nose you can do that all with very very supernatural makeup that is just part of your arsenal every day and it makes you look younger and fresher and more alive and it helps you in your business same thing with your hair you know whatever it is you need to make sure that you're just you're just looking good and you feel better you when your hair isn't like stiff and dated and I know I need a haircut right now and I'm kind of at a state where I'm like I don't know feel that great about my hair so I've got to get it done this week so you don't want to wait too long or forget about it you want to be able to just you know know that you can schedule it for yourself know that you can come in and that you can look great whenever you want so it's really that simple so if you're coming in really late now and you want to know a little bit I was just sharing a few 
of my lip plumping tips. And it's because, yes, I can do the full lip with the liner and the highlighter and the contour and the three lipsticks to really bring my lip out and look fuller with makeup. But I don't want to do that every day. I don't want to be having that super done up lipsticky look i don't i don't think it's cool you know i think it's great in a photo or maybe for a special night but as far as every day it's just, it's too much it's just it's it's almost some of it verges on looking vulgar you kind of still want to look kissable nice sweet right so for me what i like to do is i use these really simple lip plumpers and um there's a few of them that i've been using lately and one is called grande lips that I got over at Ricky's across the street. And then um, these other two are from an English company called Lip Voltage. And this is the simple one. And this is the one that has the extra pump. It's called the Powerhouse. I'll put it below so you guys have the, the access to how to get this online. And also, um, I use this thing that I do get from Ricky's and it has gloss in it and it's NYX. And if you came in, you know, late, this is just a little bit of lip gloss, really, right? Natural color that just plumps it up just a little bit. So that's simple, right? It's no big deal. You don't need to get injections. You don't need to get silicone lips. You don't need to plump up too many things. You just need to, you know, do a little zhuzh, right? Just a little zhuzh it up. So I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Thank you for joining me in my bathroom. And um, just let me know what else you need, and I'll be coming in soon. And if you want some more beauty tips, hey, holler. I got lots of stuff I could share. See? It's my my mess, my personal mess. So you know, it take it takes a village to look natural sometimes. But really, that that village should basically your main goal should be fantastic skincare, really good skincare, really good creams, moisturizers, treatments, whatever floats your boat to making sure that your skin is really pretty. So you wear the lightest amount of makeup as possible. And when you are doing video or headshots or your picture for so many different things, you know, your photo online is so many places right now. It's in, on Facebook. It's your, it could be your dating profile. It's your, all your social media. It's your website. It's your video thumbnail. It's a million different places is where you need to be able to instantly create a photo beyond some big branding shot hoopla la. You know, look, this is going to be coming out soon. My book is going to be coming out really soon. And I did all those photos myself, all by myself. My own hair and makeup, my own photography. We did everything here, lighting, you name it. And it's, it's very easy and doable, just like I do all the photos myself when um, I'm doing a blog post on Focus on Style or I'm putting up the front of a thumbnail for a Facebook video or I'm doing a Facebook video. I'm setting it all up. So to do all that, you need to make sure that you're coming on in a way that you look relatable and real and pretty and authentic and nice and natural because you don't want to come looking so like, imagine if I'm like, you? you know, I kind of look a little cray cray. Uh, you want to look like you're, you know, how, you know where the camera is. You know how to pull it together. You don't look like an exhausted mess. You do have a simple amount of makeup on that you look pretty and you look fresh and you look good. And then you know what happens? You feel good and it's just easier to do this kind of stuff. So I hope that helps. If you guys have any questions, don't forget to PM me. Please share this with any of your friends who are doing Facebook Lives, who are doing videos, who are doing headshots, or who just want to feel good and want to have a slightly fuller lip, look more natural, and not wear a ton of makeup. Because you know, Ugh, I'm not the kind of girl that wants to wear so much lipstick that it comes all over the glass. I think it's kind of creepy, actually. And it's just, it, it's like, it's fine if it's you're wearing like very light makeup and a bright, bold lip. But basically, you shouldn't leave your makeup wherever you're going. You should be able to have your face looking so pretty. You can get out of the house in five minutes, look great, look like you, and be done with it and go on with your day. So hope this helps. See you soon. Bye.